it's me Samantha from SamanthaVeganMakeup.com and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick, hopefully, swatch and review video of a company that I've been really in love with for the past few months. If you guys tune into my videos regularly, you will see that I have been um, using a lot of these lip hybrids as I've told you in the videos and my tutorials and they are by House of Beauty. So if you've watched my tutorials and my videos, my Get Ready With Me's regular, you see that I've been using them quite often. And the CEO, the founder of House of Beauty, Lynn, she actually featured me a few times on her page and just recently she reached out to me and asked if she can send me some of her new and improved lip hybrids for me to show you guys and I'm super excited because this was a company that I've been in love with even before I got sent a product from them so this is a completely honest review her sending me the products has nothing to do with how great I feel this company is and how great the product performs each lip hybrid comes in a jar such as this right here and you get about five milliliters is it milliliters or five grams worth of product if I'm incorrect I will annotate that on the screen these retail for $14 she does often have sales on her website so you can check back quite often to see if she's having any sales at the moment but for $14 you get quite a lot of product because these inconsistency really reminds me of a lip tar they're not really liquidy enough to be a gloss but they're not solid enough to be a lipstick now these are not as liquidy as a lip tar they're more like a lip mousse in my opinion they lay so nicely on the lips they don't make your lips peel they don't sloth off they stay on for about five to eight hours I feel like when I wear these I get about six hours of wear out of them I can go an entire seven hours wearing these but they will fade a little bit but they don't completely come off which is something that I love another thing that I love about these is that she has so many unique colors and they're so opaque so these are handmade quality lip products and they just are amazing you definitely have to check out the website to see a lot of the colors because I feel like now that I'm looking at the colors that I picked out, I didn't really get a large variety in colors. I tried to stay true to who I am and what I know that I would use. And these colors, I know I would use these. I would use them on myself. I would use them on clients. But they're also very, very unique colors. And she has a lot more unique colors on her website. So I definitely suggest that you guys go and check her out. Without further ado, let's get into these lip swatches. Alright guys, so let's get started. The first lip color that I'll be trying on for you guys is their number one top seller. And this one is called Nude and Rude. It's a nude with a hint of an antique rose undertone that's half metallic. And this one sets to a satin finish. I'll be trying all of the lip colors on without any liner so you guys can see the true color and the true color payoff and pigmentation of these awesome lip hybrids. Now, these are all comfortable to wear. They're more Moisturizing. I've worn this particular color for a few hours for more than like six hours and I didn't have to touch up and it stayed on my lips. My lips didn't peel, they didn't crack, they weren't dry so they're very comfortable to wear. The next shade that I'm trying on is called Truth or Bare. This one is described as a flat light nude that sets to a satin finish. They also do let you know that this color may vary depending on your lip or skin pigmentation and it also may vary due to the fact that this is handmade. So all of the lip colors will vary because they are handmade. Now in the picture online Truth or Bare looks very light. On me it's more of a bone beige color like a little bit deeper of a bone beige online it looks very light almost like a whitish beige kind of color so it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be but it is a really pretty color it's great for mixing if you want to do ombre lips or anything of the sort the next shade is one of my favorites this one is called romance and this is a color that they had previously discontinued but they reformulated it and it's supposed to be even more pigmented than before and it has a gold tone to it. It's kind of like a rose gold color. And this color is supposed to set to a semi matte finish which it does so it leaves that beautiful iridescence to it but it does have that matte finish.
The next color is one of my favorites. It is so pretty and this one is called Spank My Pink. This is an in your face, flaming, hot pink color. And I guess you're supposed to say it like pink. Like you know how people say pink? I guess that's how you're supposed to say it. <laughs> now this finish is a high gloss formula, which is why it looks almost lucid. It looks very gel-like and it's going to go on and keep that patent leather finish throughout its hours of wear which is definitely true you can layer this on you can make it sheer but it's still going to be that bright intense neon pink but if you layer it on you'll get more of an opaque color and it definitely leaves that high intense shine the next color is poison plum this one is a rich creamy deep purple and again, this is another color that may vary depending on your skin pigmentation. You do not need a lot of these. As you can see, I'm only using a pea sized amount and kind of spreading it out from the center outwards. And this is so pretty because it almost has a black undertone to it. It's almost like a black base with purple pigments in it. The next color that we have is called Autumn. This one is a rich, creamy, and pigmented metallic copper color. This is definitely a buildable and opaque shade. It's super pigmented, again, a little goes a long way. This one is supposed to be a semi-matte gloss finish to it. The next shade is Phoenix. This one is a unique, vibrant, burnt orange. And I am obsessed with this color because I haven't seen anything like this. They definitely tell you on the website you won't see anything like this, and I have not. It is so, so pretty. Again, it seems to be one of those colors that are black based and then they add a pigment into it. I'm not exactly sure if that's how they do it, but it definitely is a super unique, unique color. This one, again, great for mixing, and this is going to set to a satin finish. Then we have the shade Treasured, which is again one of my favorites if you are a special effects artist or if you work a lot during shoots or Halloween or whatever the case may be, you're definitely going to love, love, love this color. This is a rich, creamy, pigmented gold. It Oh, it's just so pretty. It's basically just pure gold. It doesn't have any undertones to it. It looks like liquid gold and it sets to a foil metallic finish. And last but not least, we have the shade Raven. And this one is a rich, creamy pitch black. And this is the blackest black that they have on their line. I really do like this color and it is super opaque. Again, this is another color that's great for mixing.
So if you guys have any further questions or you want to know any more about the company, please visit the links I have in my description box. There will be a link to House of Beauty and there will also be a link to my blog where you will see better swatches of all of these colors. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. This is a golden peach with a satin finish and this one definitely comes off nice and golden. A little bit more gold than peach in my opinion. The next up we have pink champagne. This one is one of her titanium finishes and the next color is